Hello everyone, my name is Tax Albert and welcome back to the Lovecraft in video game retrospective and welcome to Hidden on the Trail of the Ancients. Hidden is a 2015 point and click adventure game and it puts you into the role of an Argentinian archaeologist who is investigating the origins of an old artifact and who is also following an expedition to Patagonia. The game is developed by an Argentinian development team and it's also set in two places in Argentina in Buenos Aires and in southern Argentina in Patagonia. As already mentioned, it's an adventure game and the game is a very traditional point and click adventure game. You do have a 3D environment and you can look around in a spherical 360 degree view but you cannot move freely, instead you move in discrete steps and you essentially do the usual adventure stuff. You collect items, you talk to people, you read journal entries you combine items, you use items with the environment, use some mechanisms and all of that lets you progress through the story. The story is mostly told through journal entries, diaries, old documents and thought of, of the main character, so you need to do a fair bit of reading through the game, but if you like this kind of game you're probably used to that and that's probably what you would expect anyway. Gameplay wise, as already said, it's a straightforward adventure game. If that's your thing, then this game will hold little surprises and will probably not be the hardest game you've ever played. If adventure games, especially old-fashioned ones, are not your kind of game, then this is probably not for you. The game isn't overly lengthy. Of course, that does depend on how long you take to solve those puzzles. You can probably complete it in about 4 to 8 hours. And the game is generally quite well designed. None of the puzzles were overly convoluted and in my opinion, well, there were a couple of situations where I was wondering why I couldn't solve a puzzle this way, but only that way, it was still okay and none of the puzzles really felt unfair. And the game is mostly restricted to a hotel in Buenos Aires and a campsite in Patagonia, which is actually good because it does mean that the environment you have to deal with is limited and you never really have to backtrack all that much to maybe search for a different item or try out something, which I do appreciate. Graphics-wise, the game is a little bit dated, but that only means that the game isn't top-notch with regard to graphics, but it does perfectly fine. It is quite atmospheric, which is also underlined by the soundtrack and sound effects, and the graphics are perfectly fine. The only thing I really had to complain about here are the character models. There's only very few, in fact, there's really only one guy you talk to regularly, the owner of the hotel, um, a Russian immigrant. His model looks almost disturbing. It's very deep in the uncanny valley and I didn't like it at all. But then again, human models are relatively difficult to create as opposed to just dead environments. And it wasn't really all that much uh, of a big deal because there's really not that many characters you actually see in the game. And your character himself is actually not seen because it's a first person game. With regard to level design, as already said, you've got two main places and both of which actually have quite a nice atmosphere. They look they look fairly realistic and they actually look like you would expect a hotel and the campsite to look like. They use quite a bit of custom assets, so overall uh, they look quite good. And with regard to Lovecraft and elements, the game is rather subtle, you don't really see a lot of tentacle monsters jumping into your face. Instead you mainly read about stuff, in journals you hear a lot of things, you have this mysterious artifact which is made of a material that hasn't really been identified yet and there's also a lot of things in the background. But that's not actually a bad thing, in fact that's also how Lovecraft represents stuff in a lot of his stories. In a lot of his stories the main character actually reads or listens to tales from other characters, so they don't always experience everything themselves, especially in the iconic The Call of Cthulhu. A lot of stuff is told through reports from other people and isn't necessarily something that only the main character witnesses him or herself. So overall, I would recommend this game if you do like classic adventure games. If not, then this game probably won't be for you unless you are a hardcore Lovecraft fan. If you do like Lovecraft, then this game will probably satisfy you. It is not the most scary horror game, but it is quite atmospheric and it does have a couple of 
rather tense moments. So overall this definitely does get a recommendation for you. A final warning though, this is only the first part of a series of games with at least two entries. And so if you want to hear the complete story, then you still have to wait until the second game actually comes out. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.